T minus a few hours into the concert. How do you feel? Not ready. I'm not ready either. Like, quite literally, I'm not ready. Like, I'm getting my stuff put together, but oh my god. And also, our holy tickets. Wait, it's not focusing. Focus. It's focusing on your face. Hold on. Everything I've been reading. Da, 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 da. It's not focusing. There we go. There we go. Da, 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 Good morning. Today is the morning of the BTS concert. And I'm all done getting ready. Um, yeah, we're so excited. I can't believe it's actually here. Like, it seemed so far away when we got the tickets and everything, but I can't believe it's already here. Uh, I feel like after this experience is over, I'm gonna go home and think to myself, oh my god, when is the BTS concert? I know. And then I'll realize that it already happened. I'm not ready for it to end, but it hasn't even started. But, um,. Yeah, so it's so early. What time is it right now? It's 5.41 and we're all ready. We're about to go head out now soon. So we can get to the venue early and get a good spot in line. So yeah, um, I'll take you guys along with us for the entire experience. So stay tuned. We just made it onto the train. We almost took the wrong train. I know, but some like nice gentleman helped us out and like we're trying to go to New York from New York Penn Station and it's like so confusing. It's worse than the DC Metro. But like this train literally looks like it's from the train to who's on like the movie. Like I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm kind of scared right now. Show you guys. If you've never watched the movie, then you should definitely watch it. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. But, um, looks pretty creepy, doesn't it? Yeah. So we just made it to Prudential Center and it's not as cold as I thought, but I mean, it's still pretty cold. But we're just sitting here like a bunch of losers. But there are literally people who have camped out here since like yesterday afternoon. Oh, whoa, look at that. No, it's taking off. Yeah, it's taking off. But oh, it's like getting thrown. Of course. So, yeah, we're just, we're really ready. It's currently 6.39 a.m. And we have, like, how many hours to go? Well, I think, doesn't entrance for sound check, like, start at 3.40? 3.40, yeah. So we have, like, nine hours. <laughs> I mean, I got these, like, cheap blankets because it was, like, really cold. And I just got some snacks. And basically everybody came out of their caves now. We were talking about how like This is like a k-pop concert like BTS is a Korean group and we're Koreans But like literally like we're like the only Koreans here right now And like we feel so out of place when they should be the ones feeling out of place, but um, yeah, so We just ate and we're probably just gonna chill some more what are you Hello, update. So we're now waiting for a sound check. Can't see. Can't see? Can't see? No space. We got our wrist scan. Now we're just waiting. People are still trying to do my numbers and it's like, it's not right. It's a sound check. You can see all of the people behind Am I? I don't care why I'm not. The line goes all the way down there. <laughs> But all the way around this building. Hello. So update. What time is How it do now? I jump over? It is currently 2:15. It's currently 2:15, and we got we just got lined up for the sound check, and we're in our order. And yeah, super excited. Yay! So we're like kind of towards the front. She is so <laughs> yeah, but if it weren't for some people, so we couldn't <laughs> get the way front. Look how yeah. cute the dog. Say hi. You guys are in my vlog hi. now. <laughs> I know, she's like, you're in my vlog. I'm like, look at the dog. <laughs> yeah, and there's also like a fan site like selling stuff right now out there. What? <laughs> oh my god. That, okay, the, oh my that god. was the best thing ever. Okay, so yeah, sound check just ended and literally I'm like... Ah! 
<laughs> I literally cannot even speak right now. Like, they if were you ever, so if, you, if you ever have sound check for BTS concert, make sure you make eye contact with Jimin. Yeah. You're gonna die. Ah! <laughs> You're gonna, he, gonna die. He literally makes the best eye contact. He's gonna and stare like, into your eyes. For yeah, like he five stares seconds. into your soul. A solid five seconds. We're like, yeah, and then. Jungkook like pointed back at me and I feel so like oh my god right now. He was now. smiling at me too. <laughs> oh my god. So I like Chimi was the best though. Yeah, so we're just going back in line for like the regular concert now. And we're passing all these people because we're towards the front. So yeah, bye. So we are at the concert now and we're just waiting for it to start. I think we have of the extended stage.
morning. Okay, um, wait, what time is it? Well, it's actually 11.01. I don't know if that's morning or afternoon, but anyways. Good morning, so it's a uh, slash afternoon. Um, today is day two of the BTS concert. Uh, oh my god, I'm so excited. So, um, quick recap from yesterday. This is more so like, I, I don't know if you guys actually care about this or not, but this is basically just a reminder for myself when I look back on these videos to remember what happened because obviously like I won't be able to remember all of the details like later on so I'm just gonna document this um so we had sound check yesterday we went in at around like 240 ish it was 240 right yeah, no, 3.40. Oh, 3.40, yeah. So we went in at 3.40, and it was so good. Like, there was only 500 of us, but, um, so me and Sarah, we got, or Sarah and I got front row to sound check, and uh, it's really hard to explain the positioning, but, um, for sound check, there was only, like, one side of the, where the sp stage split so it was only one side so everybody like all of the bts members were like just on that side and we were more towards the left and um yeah we were front row and <laughs> they performed three songs they just talked a little bit like it was like a dry rehearsal i don't even know what that means but like they just rehe rehearsed it basically it wasn't like a full-out performance but they did Dada, they did save me and pepsi and like oh my god it was so lit and we were front row and basically where we were sitting we were more i mean standing we we're more towards the left and chimin was right in front of us the whole time and like we were literally like from me to like the tv like probably like this close like like i don't even know we were so close and we were breathing the same air and everything but like the thing is like he was so good looking like i mean they're all really good looking but i was so like shocked because i don't know he was wearing a hat and it was it looked so moshi saw and he like kept making eye contact with us and like a lot of fans probably were like oh yeah he looked at me or like he smiled at me but like this time it was really at us like he wouldn't stop like looking and smiling and literally like my heart melted like um uh, <laughs> i think i'm gonna marry him but um anyways yeah and yeah i am i'm gonna marry all of them actually okay but anyways yeah so chimi was like Oh, like he was so good looking, and his eye contact, eye contact was superb. And we kept doing like little hearts at him. He was like smiling and stuff. So yeah, it was something really intimate and deep. Like we had some connection. And then um during like the songs, like I didn't really scream while they were performing. I was just like woo like this. Like I was like pointing and stuff. But then like during like one of the songs, I was like pointing like yeah like this. Uh, Jungkook saw me and then he pointed back at me. I was like, ah! ow. <laughs> but yeah, it was so wild. Like, he noticed me. So, like, basically, two of my top biases in BTS noticed me. And I can't even live right now. Like, am I even alive? And then, so basically, after sound check, we came out and then it was really magical. We came out and then, um, so we waited again we went back in our line because we got numbers so we went back in our line we were towards the front again and then we went into the concert venue but basically there were really rude people like especially the moms they were so rude to us like they called us bitches and stuff like i'm sorry who are you like do i know you but anyways yeah they were really rude to us i mean obviously it's like the pit you're gonna be pushed and stuff and like people are excited to go in so they're gonna like run so like you can't do anything about it honestly like i'm sorry if i pushed you but like that's no reason to be mean like i'm like sincerely sorry but like whatever i'm never gonna see them again in my life anyways they're weird anyway so um yeah uh, so we went into the concert, we waited like a few hours, we got front row again, like we were more towards the right, and oh my god, I got splashed by V's holy water, and basically got super close to all of the members, got a lot of good clips that I'll probably insert into this vlog, and yeah, oh my god, I just, I'm just, my heart is oh my god right now, there's no other way to put it, honestly, um, yeah, what else? 
did I miss anything? Basically, yeah, I got super close to the members, got a lot of good clips. Um, Jungkook like came down like to my camera as I was like putting it up, and like his face was like like this. No, not actually, but like it was really close, and I was so shook. I was like, <gasps> but um, yeah. It was just a really, really good experience, I think, overall. Um, we didn't camp, but, like, we got to the front anyways. Don't ask me how. I have my ways. And, yeah, basically, my mom and dad call me crazy. Like, they don't even know how I got this crazy, and I don't know either, but whatever. So, yeah, we're gonna be going uh, to the venue soon again. Um, we have seated tickets, but we're gonna try to scheme to get pit again because it was so lit last night. So, yeah, um, see you there.
first of all, sorry if it's too noisy. We we're actually in the lobby of our hotel because we already checked out. But we wanted to film this like post-concert, like I guess wrap up. Um, so first off, we didn't film like waiting in line yesterday for day two because um, the first day my camera battery died so I wanted to preserve the battery but it didn't even matter because my memory card ran out anyways for all experience what did you think like in one in one or one um it was a it was a life changing experience honestly like I'm not exaggerating yeah that's no exaggeration honestly like it was it was the best concert. Kept yeah, it was kept down. But like, it was the best experience of my life, honestly. Um, it was really, really good, but it could have been more organized, like on the logistical side, but honestly, um, all the chaos and stress was definitely worth it. TS members are like hella good looking in real life. Like, yeah, if any of you were a part of the whole kick J Hope out of BTS thing, then you need to get your life together and see them in real life, because honestly, J Hope is up there in visuals. He's, I mean, they're all up there. They're I mean, all like, so he's way up there. Yeah, they're so good looking. Like, you need to open your eyes, go see them live, and you will it will change your opinion on everybody. Yeah. And then, um, oh yeah, so for day one, the sound check, the camera policy was really strict. There was literally like the Korean security guard there, like making sure nobody was recording anything. So, yeah, like, I was like in the middle, putting my phone away. He's like, put your phone away. Yeah, it was kind of like. Disappointing that I didn't get any like pictures or anything or videos because they were so close and it was a really like intimate experience But um, I guess I'll just like remember the memories in my heart Yeah, I know you remember memories in your brain, but you know what I mean day two we originally our tickets were Section 8 seated like P2 tickets, but we schemed so hard to get into the pit and we literally got first row pit in the center And I'm not even gonna tell you how like a schemer never reveals her schemes But honestly, that's not why it's just like this vlog's gonna get way too long. It's already like 30 minutes long probably But yeah, so it was definitely oh my god like We're so lucky to have been in pit both days I think and first row both times so um, for Friday's concert We were more towards the center so we got different shots, but uh, the videos were significantly bleh, significantly worse the second day because can you please like anyways yeah because a lot of people were pushing like the pit was way worse on Friday there was like a minimum of ten people that passed out yeah so like all the security guards were like in the front row so I couldn't even get good shots and there's a big ass fan like in the like the stage where I was like looking towards. And like when I was trying to record, like it was always in the way. Yeah, I was blocking the main stage, like yeah. the view for us. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of people were fainting left and right. Like it, I hope they're okay, but like they were getting pulled out like right in front of us. And like there's this one, one part or one moment when like during the fire performance, Jungkook actually was like looking down while he was performing um, at this girl that was getting pulled out of the pit by security guard because she fainted. And like afterwards, he told Rat Monster or Namjoon to like tell all the fans not to push so like after the fire performance he was like yeah we literally don't do like one of these yeah he, he's like then. please i wonder if i have the clip he was like i want um uh, please don't like, push please stop pushing. like he said that like 10 times but obviously they didn't listen but uh yeah what else oh yeah if you're ever in pit don't come in a sweater and a vest over on top like everybody that got pulled out was wearing like a long sleeve and a sweatshirt yeah you have to just really vest nice. I mean, like, you need to prepare yourself. Yeah, I think overall, though, day two was just, a, just as lit. Maybe not, like, if not more, because mm -hmm. it was, like, we were centered, and, yeah, they were really close. We made a lot of eye contact, and we, uh... We did this, you know, Jin's infinite like hand kiss, and he did it back to us. So that was really exciting, and we got baptized by J Hope's holy water on day two. Day two, and yeah. But wait, did I miss anything? Hold on. Um. Yeah. Okay. So the highlight of last night, or yeah, day two's concert, not is the highlight. Of I think the second day we got a used water bottle from BTS like they drank out of it and touched it and sweat on it <laughs> And you know it's real cuz of the tape on it. There's some yeah, water left. There's some water they're the literally water their lips were on this There's sweat. They were holding this. this. Yeah, 
like we're literally gonna i don't even know how we got it like we're so lucky like we're seriously gonna cherish this thing forever like it's it's legit like they tape the brand because they don't want like uh bts to be yeah, endorsing Korea's very big on endorsing brands. yeah so but it, you know it's fiji but um yeah there's still some water left and literally <laughs> we think it might be bees or b or timin or jay yeah because ramon didn't cap his afterwards yeah. like according it's to one of those four but like ramon didn't cap his water Ever, so. Yeah, so this is like literally this could sell for so much, but we're not gonna sell it because don't even try It's literally like priceless. Yeah. But yeah, I think the concert was such like a good experience Like I loved every moment of it and I can't wait for them to come back. I hope they come back really soon Yeah, if they don't I'll just fly out Yeah. Hopefully maybe they'll come to KCON or something. Maybe. 